Wow, take a look at how Russia destroyed Ukraine. Oh wait, this is actually Maui. And this is the aftermath of the wildfire that pretty much destroyed one of the most historical towns. And what is the President of the United States doing? Mr. President, are you going to take questions on Maui? Can you come talk about Maui? Can you come talk about Maui, Mr. President? And instead of addressing what happened in Maui first, your president decided to ask for more money to send to Ukraine. Because clearly what's happening outside America is way more important. He's not asking for money to figure out how to rebuild Lahaina, he's asking for money for Ukraine. And what's even more sketchy, reports are circulating that Hawaii's robust emergency siren warning system was silent during the entire wildfire. So who turned it off? And this TikToker is claiming that the water just so happened to be shut off during the wildfire and the kids were not at school that day. Why? But y'all, did y'all know that they shut the water off? They shut all the water off. So some pe I seen a video saying like, oh, this smart man used the water hose to fight off the fire from his house. Everybody tried. The water was off. Not only that, all the children were home because school was canceled that day. They were all home and the parents weren't there to evacuate them. And people are also pointing out that this Maui police chief was also in the Las Vegas Police Department during the mass shooting at the Mandalay Bay on the Las Vegas Strip. You can't make this up, we're in the movie. He literally just got the job in Maui a little over a year ago. But let's go a little further in the rabbit hole. This article can be found on the World Economic Forum's website. How Hawaii plans to be the first U.S. state to run entirely on clean energy. Lahaina is a small city full of small businesses, okay? Making it the perfect destination for a new smart city. Those who know, know. They can't start in like Honolulu or something where all the big guys are. They gotta go after the small people like us first. Check out this clip of the governor saying the quiet part out loud. Governor Josh Green had to say, along with the FEMA director, about preserving Lahaina moving forward. I'm already thinking about ways for the state to acquire that land so that we can put it into workforce housing, to put it back into families, or to make it open spaces in perpetuity as a memorial to people who were lost. I'm already thinking about ways for the state to acquire that land. Governor of Hawaii, Josh Green, no pun intended, was literally at the United Nations two months ago bragging about how Hawaii is becoming the first state to be 100% sustainable. We tried to lead on energy and climate. We were the first state to mandate 100% renewable energy uh, for electricity. So it's again an opportunity as a small state with technically a small footprint, but we do punch above our weight a little bit because of our position in the Pacific. Speakers were invited to help implement the United Nations Agenda for Sustainable Development Goals in 2030. Isn't it also questionable that Oprah just bought 870 acres of land in Maui, giving her total of land ownership in Maui to 1,000 acres? And of course, nothing Oprah owned was destroyed. Neither were the homes of celebrities like Will Smith, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Lady Gaga. All their homes remained untouched during the wildfire. And this is allegedly where the fire started. Isn't it weird that it's forming like a perfect oval shape? Like the fire literally got in formation. I've never seen anything like this. But what do I know? I'm just a crazy, loony, conspiracy theorist psychopath. Thoughts?